Are you kidding me? A Game Boy console the size of my thumb? Check out this crazy Kickstarter project from Tiny Circuits. It's the world's smallest game console. You can actually play this thing. In this video, we'll unbox it, play some of the games, and even write our own script for this thing. Stay tuned. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos like this. So I got this thumby from Ken Burns. He's the founder of Tiny Circuits. We go way back. They've done a bunch of other cool projects like Tiny Arcade, which we've also featured on our channel before. The thumby is based on the Raspberry Pi RP2040 microcontroller. And that display you see, it's monochrome. It's only 72 by 40. I mean, this thing is super small. It's an OLED display. It's got a lithium polymer battery, a micro USB connector that you can charge it with, and you can also program the thing through it. There's also a little speaker in there. You can hear it when you're playing. And then it's got a power switch on the top and then, you know, the gameplay buttons that are right on the face of it. It's just over an inch tall, less than an inch wide, and just super thin. So let me actually play this thing here. All right, I'll go ahead and turn it on. Thumby. All right, I like that little intro. I just gotta get my fingers placed here. Yep, I want the audio on. All right. Ooh, what is RFSD? All right, let me play this game. Yep, press A or B. So I'm assuming that one's A and that one's B. All right. Okay, looks like I'm a spaceship or something. I don't know what's around. Okay, what are you doing? I, ooh, man, I love flying through space. Oh, that's a pretty cool effect. Ooh. I don't know. It's pretty. I don't know how to play this. Maybe this is like a classic game that, since I'm not like a gaming guy, I don't even know about. But I don't know. It's pretty fun. I can shoot. Looks like. Hey, look at that! I can shoot stuff. I don't know, I just like flying through space. That's pretty cool. It's actually pretty easy to press this, like move this guy around, you know? I don't know, I like it. Looks like that button is what does the attack or the shooting there. Cool, all right. It looks like to exit the game, I just turn it off, start it back up. All right, let's try another game. I'm going to go to, let me do Tiny Triss. It's got to be, oh, look at that, Tiny Triss. All right, start this. Cool, all right, over on the right, I can see what's coming up next. All right, now, uh, just a warning, I, if there's one game that I'm like the worst at ever, it's Tetris. Let's see if I can time this one right. There it is, yeah. Um, yeah, hey, I'm kind of, I kind of feel like it's, yeah, that's, I got the controls pretty good here. I'm trying to get it in focus. It's hard to get it in focus. I know, um, I know the screen looks like, you can tell the screen looks like it's updating and stuff, but when you actually look at the screen, it's, you know, without having a, the video camera or whatever, um, it's really, the resolution's great. Yeah, this is this is fun. I mean, this is totally a novelty. It's nuts. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of. It's actually though. Like it's so small. I think maybe playing it through the screen is actually might be helping it out a little bit. I don't know. Man, these are like a pixel wide. That's how crazy this is. I'm totally gonna show up somewhere with this and just be like, oh, hey, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's actually pretty, it's not too hard to control. I just am not that good at Tetris. Like I'm not very good at lining this stuff up. Cool, all right. Let's check out another game. All right. Tiny Soar, all right, let's give this one a shot. Okay. Oh, all right, man, I already jumped. All right, so this is like the game, you know, on Chrome, if you don't have uh, internet access, you get this little game. 
You know that dinosaur that shows up? This looks like that. 20 points. The time is down in the left here. Ah, shoot, man. All right, let's... Man, I just need to wait, wait, wait. I just, I want to, I want to pretend like my robot can fly, but he can't fly. See, when nothing comes, I'm really good at this game. All right, okay, let's try the, another one here. All right. All right, I want to try this. This one, Tiny Delve. Tiny Delver. Yeah, let's play. Ooh, cool. All right, let's see. Here's... I'm this little guy right... Uh-oh. These guys looks like they're hurting me. Man, my hit points are going down. I'm going to kick this dude's butt. Act on, yeah. Act on. I die I got killed by a dungeon skeleton on floor. One. Man, this is rough. Yeah, let's restart this. All right. All right, looks like there's a door over here. And you can act on it. Yeah, let me act on it. All right, looks like there's another door over here. Ooh, I got magic points. Act on, yeah. Hmm, looks like I got to a dead end here. All right, let me let me try press B. What? Ooh, look at that! I can drop or equip something. So, all right, so let's see. Pants. Small. Now, how do I know if it's equipped or not? Ooh, equipped. All right, let me. All right. W eight out of thirty. So I'm assuming maybe I've got like thirty spots to hold stuff. Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna drop that, see what happens. Oh, hey, that's my sword. Probably need that. All right, so I got a basic wood. Oh, okay, basic wood dagger. I bet that's what that is. All right, so now I'm gonna equip that. Basic sword. Bam. Now I got a sword. Kill these dudes. All right, ready to fight. Then when you act on, you just press in that direction. Bam. Don't mess with me. Oh, I thought that was a dead end. Oh, well, there's another door down here. Oh, what's interesting is last time I played this, it's different. So they must, these doors must get, all right, this guy's going down. Bam. Bam. Man, this is great. I feel, feel safer with this broadsword here. Cool, there's uh, one more game on here. Tiny Ann. All right, I'm that, and I'm trying to get to that, I think is how this works. Oh, man. Oh, shoot, see, I forget which one I am. What I think is really cool about this Thumby is that all the code for it is open source. So you can make these games and you can create them with MicroPython. And what's crazy is they have this free 
web-based IDE that you can use. You know, when you plug your Arduino into the IDE and it recognizes the board, it's like that, but it's with this with the Thumbie. So you plug the Thumbie in over the micro USB, and then you just select the Thumbie from the uh, online editor. And they've got a tutorial on doing this, and it's really simple to follow, which is more than I can say for a lot of online tutorials. Anyway, I was able to get uh, a rendition of our logo up and running. You know, I, I did it like abstract kind of art, but it goes up and down. I don't know. I, I think it's pretty cool. It would definitely be fun to build a little game out on this, play around with it. You could get really creative and just have a fun time doing it. Ken, thanks so much for taking a moment to talk to me. Um, excited just to kind of pick your mind a little bit on this new product that Tiny Circuits is putting out. And I'm just wondering, like, you know, I got this thing in the mail and uh, I thought, man, was like the tiny arcade too big? And you like, you felt like, oh, this is just too big. I got to come out with this, uh, this smaller version, like this super tiny game console. What was yeah. the impetus for that? Uh, really? Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. So um, our main engineer, Ben, Ben Rose, kind of did this as a little pet project to see what's the smallest possible thing you could make and still play games. And so he actually did this just kind of on the side and we shut it off at some Maker Faires five or six years ago. Uh, really just as like a, almost like a bring a hack type thing, you know, say, Oh, we could do this and enough people liked it. So, Hey, you, you guys really got to do that. You got to do that. So, uh, we're like, all right, it's just kind of always in the back burner. And so this, this year we decided to, to ramp it up and say, okay, let's, I mean, yeah, it's ridiculous to actually like try to play a game on it, but it's cute. And we're able to do it, um, like super cheap too. So we're, you know, we're making everything here in Akron, Ohio, but we're going for a price point of $19. And so even making it here, I think it's cheap enough that um, people like, okay, this is you know, kind of a cute, cute little game console I can uh, tinker with. And I'd be surprised if somebody tries to play games on it for five hours straight. <laughs> it would be quite the challenge. Although, I'll tell you what, we've shown it to little kids, like nine, 10, 11 year olds, and they they will sit there and play it for a while. They they have the hands for it and they they love it. Yeah, I know. I showed it to my little kids and they thought they were, they thought it was the coolest thing ever. So yeah, I assure you, they, they thought it was fantastic. And you know, it is, it's a really fun conversation piece. Like I just showed it to my couple of my friends and they're like, what? And they're like, wait, it actually works. I'm like, yeah, it's not just a tiny little piece of plastic. Yeah, it works, in it so. too, and yeah, yeah no, uh, it's, it's crazy, man. Was it a matter of that five-year period? Was it a matter of like waiting till you had like the uh, available electronics to do it? Like they were at a price point where it made more sense to do it? Or I know it's using what, that RPI chip or something? Yeah, yeah. So it's using a Raspberry Pi microcontroller, the new one, the RP2040. Um, really, a lot of it was, I, you know, there, there's some challenges to it. We, we realized we'd need like a good case, an injection molded case, which is is pricey. And so, um, again, we're just kind of pushing it off. And then when the, the Raspberry Pi part came out, we're like, this thing is extremely cheap and it would just make it much more powerful. So the early one just had an AT Tiny in it. So we thought, it's a simple little game system. We use that Raspberry Pi part. It's cheap enough that we can you know, keep the price very low. Because um, again, like you say, it's kind of a, a little thing. Um, you don't want to drop 50 bucks on that. But if it's under $20, then it's like, okay, you know, this, is, this is really cute. And I can show it off to my friends and you know, create simple little games for it very easily. So you guys are running a Kickstarter and it's uh, probably when people wa are watching this, depending on when they see it, it's either going off right now um, and they can check it out by what? Going to thumbie.us and it yeah, will so take have, them to that page? Or Yeah, right now we have thumbie.us, which is kind of a, a landing page and just getting email signups. But by the time this runs, the Kickstarter will probably be live. So we're just going to redirect that to the live Kickstarter site. And then we also have some tutorials. Um, so, um, and we're going to focus more over the next month, kind of refining the web ID. It is, I mean, it is workable right now. We do want to do, you know, improvements and do a lot more tutorials about, you know, making games for it. Um, but yeah, the Kickstarter is live and uh, hopefully doing well. I mean, we're recording this right before it launches. So, um, but we've had great excitement. There have been some reviews out there already, and we're hoping for more. We sent out some early beta units like the one you got. Um, one thing that we did announce, or we haven't officially announced, but um, you're actually able to connect two Thumbies together. 
um, using like a special micro USB cable and we call it a thumbie link. So you could actually do multiplayer stuff. So that's kind of new. We haven't done much with it, but we've proved out the concept. And so, I mean, it's, again, it's ridiculous. Um, but again, thumbies are cheap. And so you can actually make a little multiplayer game, um, kind of like some of those old, old little handhelds did back in the day. And so you play against your friend. Oh, that's really cool. Awesome. <laughs> well, Ken, thanks so much. I, again, I appreciate your time. And uh, everybody definitely go check out Thumbie. It's pretty sweet. Well, hey, thanks a ton for watching. If you want to learn how to code real stuff, check out the Programming Electronics Academy membership program in the description below. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get updates when we drop new videos. Thanks again and have a great one. Bye.